my main reason for this visit to Second Street here on Encinitas was to look at those ficus down here on Second Street and show you my claim to fame down this way. This way. So according to a report given to the city by uh, West Coast Arborist, the, um, these trees are, are hazard, and they are. Any tree is a hazard. But one of the main things they talk about is, are the roots and that these could uproot and fall over. Well, yeah, they could, but they're ficus. Anybody knows anything about ficus? Roots travel like 50, 100 feet. And this is very sandy soil around here, but check this out. Here's a root that was cut. There's a nice canopy here. And uh, we'll talk about the canopy more in a little bit, but there's a root here, and it was obviously cut. And in fact, there's actually roots regenerating off of here, but regardless of that, this was cut. And when you cut surface roots, it could cause the tree to fall over, but anybody that knows anything about ficus, that's not even a main root to this tree. But what I thought was funny was one day this uh, tenant or the owner of this building came out. He's owned this building for about a year. He's lived in Encinitas for about five years. But he wants these damn trees gone because they're a nuisance. And he claims that there's roots alive in his parking lot and he's suing the city. How can the roots be alive if the roots are cut here? Well, actually, I'm not siding with the city or the owner, but there's probably roots all under his property because there's roots other than this. But long story short, this root is cut because of the new concrete. So yeah, the tree might fall over, but not from one root. Uh, just wanted to point that out. I want to save these trees as much as any citizen or any tree lover, tree hugger. I'm an arborist and hey, without trees, I wouldn't have a job. That's not why I want to save trees, but I also have to be unbiased. This tree can be defective as with all ficus and all these trees on the street and for the the reason that it could be defective is if we look inside here we notice that there's like beautiful soil in between these two branches and a lot of these situations on these ficus are called they're called co-dominant two branches that are close together and as they grow they build pressure and the beautiful soil that's in here is perfect for root growth. So we saw the roots down there on that root, the little tiny roots developing. Well, little tiny roots can develop inside the crotch of this tree. So I really shouldn't be saying anything, but any good arborist knows that when you have a co-dominant situation and you have a, an entryway for decay, or if you have the right growing conditions for for roots then you might have a problem because as this root gets bigger what's going to happen the power and the pressure of water inside of a root can split the biggest tree and there's a root right there so that's the real defect of these trees so that therefore I recommend structural pruning which what's that well I'll tell you about that later and I gotta go catch my dog now <laughs> example of co-dominant on one of these ficus. Notice how there's like two fingers really tight together. Really tight together and there's pressure building. You can see the bulge right here. And that's a defect. Now I'm not saying the whole tree needs to be cut down. What it needs to happen is you need to selectively take out some of these. So you could take this whole branch out now some people might disagree with me. Oh, you can't take, you can't make a big cut like that. You kill the tree. Well, on a ficus, no, you can make a huge cut. It won't kill it. However, there's ways to phase out or whittle away at this big branch, take the load off, come back in a year, take more off, and by that time it won't be such a big cut. 
And so that's why I recommend on these, instead of stripping up the inside and just making it look like we did something, let's go in here and really figure out how to prune these. So this one can go. I could mark it, and I could mark all these trees, but uh, I want to save them. So let's figure out a strategic plan, a solution to just cutting them all down.